Rain is the predominant source of all fresh water on the planet. Rainwater harvesting is the only way to sustain both our surface and subsoil water sources. Rainwater harvesting is mainly done for two reasons. One, to store the water for later use and two, to recharge the ground. One of the simplest methods of harvesting rainwater is to divert the rain that falls on the terrace into open wells. In the absence of an open well, a percolation or a recharge well could be dug within the premises to inject rooftop water into it for groundwater recharge. A recharge well is usually around 10 to 15 feet deep. The depth of these baby wells usually depend upon the nature of the soil underneath and the volume of water the recharge well is expected to receive during heavy downpours. These are constructed using cement rings readily available in the market. The diameter of these rings range from 2.5 feet to 6 feet. After digging a hole to the desired depth on the ground, the cement rings are inserted to keep the surrounding soil from falling inside the well and filling it up. Downtake pipes carrying rainwater from the rooftop is connected to these recharge wells. Care should be taken to not fill it up with debris or gravel. These wells should be left unfilled and covered with concrete slabs of suitable thickness to aid in vehicular movement inside the building. Not only water from the rooftop but also from open spaces around the house can be diverted into these recharge wells after passing them through a simple gate trap arrangement to catch all the silt and debris. These wells are not high on maintenance. Once a year or once in two years depending upon the requirement, these wells should be desilted. Groundwater recharge is an important aspect of rainwater harvesting and will have to be preached and practiced everywhere. In case you do not have an open well, the best option is to construct a recharge well to ensure that rainwater falling on your premise is not wasted by getting mixed with the sewerage or as runoff onto the street.